This subpar toolbox what? only had one wrench. He's done. So I was lucky then it was what? three quarters or I'd have been screwed. Yeah, right. Are you done eating? Come on, Ron. What the hell? I need your help. By the time I was done, this hundred year old piece of American made cast iron was singing like a bird. Now, to most people, this story would seem boring. That's ridiculous. It's a story about a radiator. But to me, it was immensely satisfying because I enjoy fixing radiators. You like fixing this town, Leslie. You always have. You know it's an uphill battle, but you love the struggle. I would also add that you've already done a hell of a lot to make this town better. And people like this young man here will benefit from your hard work. He's a beautiful boy. He's quite a looker. Thank you, Ron. What's that? Nothing. <clears throat> Clear my throat. Okay, ladies, whenever you're ready. Tuesday, and if you missed this week's episode, catch it on demand. I've been thinking a lot about your offer. And I have to say, I can't think of one single reason not to take it. That's great. I'll start drawing up the paperwork. I'm sorry. I meant because I can think of a lot of reasons not to take it. Okay, well, that's a very misleading phraseology. I'm sorry. It's an amazing offer, and I'm very interested. But if I'm going to leave Pawnee, I need to know it's going to be okay without me. And I won't know until I finish what I've started. When do you need your answer? Well, the years of federal government grind pretty slowly, so you have a little time, but we can't wait forever. I'll be in touch. Great, thank you. That's not your hand. Here it is. Sorry, my depth perception is totally screwed up. I'm really happy that worked out for you, Tom, but you kind of sold me out back there. I know, I'm sorry, but you oh, oh, asked oh. me what I was passionate about, and... Honestly, I'm never going to be passionate about dry cleaning chemicals. Reach his own, I guess. I know opening a restaurant is risky, but I can make this work. I know I can. And count me in as the second Jody, investor from Tom's Bistro. Thank you. Jody, no. I know this is a symbolic gesture, but my investor floor is $1,000, so as of now, he owns zero shares. Cool. Thanks for clearing that up. Now, go do work, or I will fire you. I'm not kidding. Yep. <laughs> Oh, look, John, it's red pine. They were going to put flecked linoleum over this beautifully preserved, naughty red pine. Most people in this world, John, are asked. This is the best day I've ever spent in a government building, and luckily my son was here to share it with me. He now has that satisfied look that only comes with the pride of labor. Or he pooped. <laughs>